we are going to discuss about the working of NPN transistor. See, in previous class, we have a look on the what is meant by a transistor. Transistor is made up of a semiconductor like silicon or germanium. And these transistors are widely used in electronic devices such as TVs, radios, mobile phones, whatever it may be. Wherever the electronic devices are there, these transistors are used. And here, the, mainly the transistor is made up of a PN junction diode. And there are two types of transistors. One is NPN transistor and another one is PNP transistor. In these two transistors, the most effective transistor is NPN transistor. Why the NPN transistor is effective means, here in this NPN transistor, the majority charge carriers are electrons. So the electrons carry the charge. And uh, in PNP transistor, the majority charge carriers are holes. So why holes can't carry the charge uh, much more effective than these electrons means? There is a variation between these electrons and holes. The electrons have very less mass while comparing to the hole. So due to that, the mobility of these electrons is uh, much more better than the holes. As the NPN transistor consists of more electrons, so it can carry the charge very be in better way than the PNP transistor. And we have also discussed the construction of transistor. Mainly the construction of transistor it can be categorized in two ways. That is, basing upon the size and basing upon the doping. Coming to the size, and we have to discuss one more thing. Transistor consists of three terminals. That is, one is emitter, base and collector. Here, Considering these three sections, uh, emitter, emitter, if you consider the sizes, collector is big in size and base is very small in size. And this emitter is moderate size. It is bigger than the base and smaller than the collector. In the same way, if you consider the doping, doping also consists in three ways. That is, the emitter has high doping. What is meant by doping? Doping is nothing but the injecting of impurities into a semiconductor. See, by injecting the impurities into a semiconductor, the semiconductor may act as a conductor. Okay, so the doping is high in emitter. Next, the doping will be more in this collector. And in base, the doping is very less. So, the order of doping is more, less, very less. So, in base, the doping is less. Here, it is moderate in collector and in uh, emitter, that is more. And here, if you name this uh, transistor, this is NPN transistor, this is N, this is P, and this is N. And here, this is called as emitter. And this is our base. And this is collector. And here, if you observe the diagram, block diagram, here we can observe uh, two junctions. This is one junction, and this is another junction. This junction is called emitter junction and this junction is called collector junction two junctions are there and here coming to the how to start a transistor to start a transistor uh, see actually if you consider a circuit there may be one input and one output or two inputs and two outputs but in a transistor there are three terminals the three terminals are emitter base collector emitter base collector so here uh, <coughs> this may be act as a input or output also this also can be act as a input 
as well as output. This also collector also can be act as a input as well as output also. Uh, so <clears throat> that's why this is a different device called transistor. And here one more thing to start this transistor we have to uh, connect with a battery. So by connecting with a battery the transistor starts to work. And here uh, how we have to connect to start to start a transistor what we have to do we have to uh, give the connections in such a way that here I am naming it as E F and C R that means here we have two junctions I said no emitter junction and collector junction so the emitter junction should be given a forward bias emitter junction should be given a forward bias and in the same way collector C means collector here E is the emitter C is the collector so emitter junction should be given a forward bias and collector junction should be given a reverse bias so when we are connecting in this way then the transistor uh, starts to work. Let us uh, see how we have to connect them. See here, this is the emitter, collector, base. Now the emitter, I am connecting a battery to the emitter. And while giving a connection also, here one thing we have to remember. For emitter, the uh, N section or N part should be given to negative and P part should be given to positive and uh, coming to the collector the N section should be given to positive that means this one and P section this should be given to negative now let us see how we will connect here see N section first we are considering this emitter emitter junction so in emitter junction we have to give forward bias means it is forward how forward n should be connected to negative so this is the negative of the battery and p should be connected to positive so this is our positive terminal so this is the battery given to the emitter section emitter junction and this is our connections and here i am naming this battery as v b E because this is the voltage between base and emitter. So VBE voltage between base and emitter. Now if you consider the collector junction, in collector junction the N section should be given to positive and P section should be given to negative. So here I am considering <coughs> N should be given to positive this is positive and P should be given to negative. So negative. This is a minus, this is plus. And I am naming this battery as VCB because this is the voltage between collector and base. Collector and base. So VCB. Here VVE. Here what are the duties of these batteries? The duties of batteries is VBE is making a forward bias and VCB is making a or connected in reverse bias. This is connected in reverse bias and this is connected in forward bias. Okay, so this is the connection of the battery. After giving the connection, what happens? Uh, the charge will transfer that means an electric field will be started so this is minus no so minus so here also there will be a minus so due to that minus negative sign here already it is filled with electrons and it is highly doped and a large number of amount of electrons here here and electrons are negatively charged and this is also a negative. So 
what this negative charge will do to the electrons there will be a repulsion force due to that repulsion force the electrons will move start moving in this direction so they will move towards the base and from the base they will move towards the collector that means while moving towards the base what happens for example you consider a hundred percent of electrons are moving towards the base so while reaching the base here uh, the charge carriers are holes so what happens is the electrons will uh, settle in the holes they will neutralize it they will be neutralized and see for example 100 percent of electrons are coming towards this base and only 10 percent of electrons are staying here why because the number of the doping is very less and the holes are very less there so 10 percent of electrons are staying here so what about remaining 90 percent of electrons the 90 percent of electrons are moving towards the collector why because only 10 percent are staying here within the holes they will be neutralized why because holes will attract the electrons so due to that attraction 10 percent of the electrons are neutralized within this base section and remaining 90 percent of electrons are pushed towards this collector so what happened here when these electrons 90 percent of electrons push it towards the collector in the collector section already there are some um, some electrons and these electrons both the electrons will be having some repulsion if one electron is entered here this electron and this electron will have some repulsion force so due to that repulsion force one electron will be pushed towards this wire or a circuit so due to that electrons will move in this direction so what happens here so due to the movement of electrons in this direction there will be a current produced here that current is called as emitter current and in the same way here also the electrons are moving the motion of the electrons create a current here the current is called collector current in the same way here the electrons which are settled in the holes will be attracted towards this positive terminal why because the electrons are negatively charged here it is negative 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 repulsive force takes place and they will attract towards this positive that means electrons will move in this direction and here here electrons are moving like this here they are moving like this and here they are moving downwards and here a current is produced due to that that current is base current so the current which is produced at the emitter is emitter current at the collector is collector current and at base the current is base current so what will be the direction of current here so this is this is the direction of electrons now due to the uh, the direction of current let us see the direction of current in this circuit here the direction of electrons is like this upward so the direction of current will be from positive to negative this is the direction and here the direction will be electrons are coming see the current direction and the electrons direction will be in opposite direction so this is the direction of electrons so this will be the direction of current here so this is the direction of current and here this will be the direction of current and here also the electrons are coming downward so the current direction will be upward so the electrons are moving like this and see like this they will move and here some electrons sorry yes like this they will move and some elect from base the electrons will move like this they will make a round like this and here 
they will make move like this and the current direction is this is the current direction and here this is the current direction so if you consider here this will be the junction this is the junction and from the junction la we can say that the current incoming incoming current is equal to the outgoing current incoming current is equal to the out, outgoing current according to junction law incoming current is equal to the outgoing current that means here what is the incoming current the incoming current is emitter current that is equal to base current plus collector current here this is the conclusion for this and why this happens is here the emitter section is having a moderate size and the doping is very high due to high doping and number of electrons are more here see current i equal to nqa vd that means the number of electrons or charge carriers is more if the number of charge carriers is more then the current will be more so the current will be more here well comparing to this section and this section so the current emitter current will be equal to the ib base current plus ic collector current so this is about a, a transistor and here what we have discussed is a transistors are made up of semiconductors and mainly the transistor can be used in electronic devices and mainly the uh, transistor is uh, constructed by a pn junction diode and there are two types of transistors npn transistor and pnb transistor and the npn transistor is the most effective transistor due to the uh, reason is the number of charge carriers or uh, most number of charge carriers or electrons the electrons have less mass while comparing to the holes and to activate or to start a transistor there should be forward bias and reverse bias emitter junction should be forward bias and collector junction should be reverse bias why here a forward bias means here the number of charge carriers are more so here we have to give a forward bias here the number of charge carriers are less so here we will give a reverse bias and after giving the con connection the electrons will travel in this direction and here the electrons from base they will come down and they will travel like this throughout the circuit they will travel in this way from base they will come like this and go like this and whatever the direction of electrons are there the current direction will be opposite to the, to the uh, direction of electrons so the field will be electric field will be opposite to the direction of electrons and here there are two types of batteries vvc potential difference between base and emitter vcb potential difference between collector and base and v vbe is forward bias vcb is reverse bias and here this is the junction from the junction law we know that the current incoming current is equal to the outgoing current the incoming current is emitter current the outgoing current is base current plus collector current 